Kachuk and scores! Shabbat curled and drives and scores! And the Senators win it. Welcome to Sens Talk. My name is Brandon, and I'm your host. Now, before we can start, please follow us on Twitter, at Sens Talk underscore, and on Instagram at Sens Talk. As well, go to SeatGeek.com and use the promo code Sens Talk. You'll save $20 US off your first purchase. Now, last Friday and Saturday, the 2021 National Hockey League draft occurred, and as usual, the draft experts and, uh, quote-unquote, uh, the hockey draft community, uh, had a lot of criticism towards the Ottawa Sanders this past weekend because of multiple reaches in the in the late rounds, uh, multiple reaches throughout the draft, and a quote-unquote failed draft by the Ottawa Sanders. Now, it's funny that these draft pundits and quote-unquote draft experts say that uh, because last year and years previous to last year, the, the draft experts continually always say the Ottawa Sanders fail in the draft. They always give them an F uh, rating, and they always say that the Sanders reached on players and missed value. Well, guess what? Reaching on those players, that turned into a Shane Pinto. That turned into an Alex Formenton. That turned into a Drake Batherson. I could go through the whole list. So this year, the the draft experts, the whole dr- online draft community in the ho- in hockey, has not learned their lesson that the Sanders, the one thing they're really good at is drafting, and it's really stupid to criticize their picks before we haven't even seen a year past the pick. It's so stupid to give them an F rating before these players haven't even played a game since being drafted. It's stupid. So uh, definitely not an F rating, this draft. And I think Ottawa actually got a lot of intriguing talent. So let's get into the review now. So in the first round, 10th overall, the Ottawa Sanders selected right winger Tyler Boucher out of the United States Developmental Program. Now, Tyler Boucher stands at 6'1", 205 pounds, and last year with the program, he played in 12 games, securing 6 goals, 5 assists, 11 points total, and 22 penalty minutes. Now, Tyler Boucher is a high-energy power forward, similar to Tom Wilson or Josh Anderson in the National Hockey League, and he perfectly fits the scheme here in Ottawa. Boucher is known for his physicality, as you won't watch a game featuring him without seeing him crunching an opposing player into the boards or onto the ice. He's often at the right place at the right time, which results in a lot of net front goals for Tyler Boucher. Sound familiar? Cough, cough, Brady Kachuk. Cough, cough, Ottawa Sanders system. Now, Boucher also isn't afraid to shoot, which is great, and is a quote-unquote crafty shooter, according to Elite Prospects. Now, the online draft community, as I touched on early, earlier in today's video, absolutely lost their minds when the Ottawa Sanders made the selection at 10. And some of these uh, draft pundits are actually still losing their minds, even though it's been confirmed by multiple reporters that if Ottawa did not take Tyler Boucher at number 10, a a team a few slots below them would have taken them in the mid-teens. So obviously, Tyler Boucher was not a reach here. And I think Tyler Boucher likely would have been a top 20 pick, a consensus top 20 pick, if he stayed healthy this year. This really could be a steal for the Ottawa Sanders, and he also fills a need at right wing in the organizational depth chart as well. And I honestly think Tyler Boucher, with his physicality, his good state, his good skating abilities, and most importantly of all, his good hockey IQ, his ability to crash to the net, be at the right place at the right time, I think he projects as a top six winger for the future for your Ottawa Senators. Now let's get to the next pick in the second round. In the second round, 39th overall, the Ottawa Sanders selected center Zach Ostapchuk out of Vancouver Giants of the WHL. Now at 6'3", 198 pounds, Zach Ostapchuk is a great big body center. And in 22 games last year, he had 7 goals, 9 assists, 16 points total. And he was also voted most improved player last year with the Vancouver Giants in the WHL. Now like I just mentioned, Ostapchuk is a big bodied center who isn't afraid to drive to the net. Now he has great hands, often resulting in some highlight reel plays. Now Ostapchuk is as well as a smooth skater for his size. And unlike other tall centers in this organization, Zach actually uses his physical traits to his advantage. It's very hard to knock him down and or take the puck off of him. Now this pick really intrigues me for the Ottawa Sanders. And I think you really need to keep an eye on this kid. He has potential to be an impactful middle six NHLer down the line. It all just depends on if his, if his skating can meet with the pros. Keep an eye on this kid. 
In the second round, 49th overall, the Ottawa Senators selected defenseman Ben Roger out of London of the OHL. Now, Ben Roger is a big defenseman at actually six foot four, big guy, 201 pounds. He unfortunately did not play last year uh, due to the OHL COVID pause. However, the year previous to that pause, he had six points in 35 OHL games in 2019 with London. Now, during this extended quote unquote offseason, I guess, whatever you want to call it, the, during the COVID pause, uh, Ben Roger. Uh, Gained 25 pounds of muscle during that uh, extended break. So uh, Ben Roger is definitely going to be a much more filled out uh, defenseman uh, going into this OHL season. And that definitely will have an impact on his production. Now, not much is known about Ben Rogers, but here's what Elite Prospects said about the kid. Quote unquote, in the zone, his reach is his best asset. Roger stands at six foot four. gap is strong, posture is projectable, knees over toes, a lot of speed from backward shuffle, weight is centered stick extended but not overreaching who will be playing in London in the OHL next year should be interesting to watch him especially as a you know as an Ottawa 67s fan get to watch him live here in Ottawa potentially as well now we haven't seen enough on the kid to say whether or not he will be a National Hockey League defenseman however it should be interesting to watch him this year and the size that he has definitely gives him uh, an advantage uh, or definitely increases the odds anyways of him maybe being an NHL defenseman down the road. Let's just see if he can put all the tools together. Let's get to the next pick. In the third round, 74th overall, the Ottawa Sanders selected winger Oliver Johansson out of Sweden. Now, Johansson is six foot, 183 pounds, so decently sized there. Now, in the Sweden Tier 2 League last year, he played in five games, securing only three goals. Now, not much information is known on the kid. Most scouting sites didn't even have him ranked. However, from highlights I've seen, Oliver is a good first stride, which allows him to garner speed fast, and thus creating offensive chances for himself. Now, like I said, there's not much on the kid online, not much information, which kind of reminds me of another uh, European pick Ottawa had last year in Levy Merlainen. Look how that turned out. He's now one of the best uh, goaltending prospects uh, Ottawa has, and he's even going to be starting for Finland, I believe, at the World Championship. So, hey, you know what? Less information seems like the better for if you're an Ottawa Sander fan with these picks. But here's what Dober Prospects wrote about Johansson. Johansson is a winger with good poise and patience. He's very confident on the puck and doesn't shy away from going straight to the net. His skating is good, albeit not spectacular. He's quick getting uh, to his top speed, but isn't it isn't remarkable. He has a good motor and works hard all game long. I see some issues with his movement off the puck at times, as he tends to stay in one spot in some shifts. It is something that comes out some shifts, not all of them, so it just needs to get more consistent. Seems like the kid could potentially be a National Hockey League winger down the line. It should be interesting to see how he develops this year. Keep an eye on this kid as well. Could be another uh, sleeper pick out of Europe for Ottawa. In the fourth round, 123rd overall, the Ottawa Senators selected right winger Carson Latimer out of the WHL. Now, Latimer stands at 6'185 pounds, and last year in the WHL, he played in 22 games, securing 5 goals, uh, 11 assists for 16 points total. Now, scouting reports indicate that Latimer is a constant pressure on the ice and uses his physicality to open up space for offensive chances. Latimer has a good offensive IQ and identifies some open spaces to receive passes, often crashing the net and either puts a pass behind the goalie or a rebound past the goalie. Either way, Carson Latimer will crash the net and most of the time will end up putting the puck in the back of the net. Now, many scouts have praised Latimer for his defensive play as well, which indicates a very strong hockey sense. That is something you can't just learn and more importantly that is something that could definitely translate to the pro levels that is very very key if you have a good hockey sense you can usually end up in the national hockey league based off of that alone so for that and many other reasons i love this pick for the ottawa sanders and i view this as yet another potential late round steal for the sanders keep an eye on this kid for sure. I think he has incredible uh, potential here thanks to his defensive play and hockey sense. If his skating can keep up with the pros, watch out. Could, I could certainly see this kid as a bottom six forward in the future for the Ottawa Sanders, maybe like a Nick Paul and or a Connor Brown. In the seventh round, 202nd overall, the Ottawa Sanders selected defenseman Chandler Romeo out of the OHL. Now Chandler is six foot five, 205 pounds, so he's a big defenseman. Unfortunately, though, due to the COVID pause last year in the OHL, he has not played an OHL game yet, but he will play for the Hamilton Bulldogs next year. Now Chandler certainly has the potential to become a National Hockey League defenseman thanks to his size and frame alone. It all depends on whether his size has negative effects on his skating. This is another kid to keep tabs on for this season. Uh, just based on the fact that we don't know much about the kids. So let's see how he develops and how he progresses through the year with Hamilton in the OHL.
Besides that, thank you all for watching. Make sure to comment below and let me know which pick excites you the most. I look forward to reading all your comments down below in the comments section. But besides that, thank you all for watching. Make sure to like this video, share this video with your cool stuff, and make sure as well to make that red button down there, make it gray, and subscribe to us. And most importantly of all, turn the notification bell on so you get notified whenever we upload a new video. Besides that, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you very soon. Go, let's go.